Meet Jacob, he is a 22-year-old young man with type 1 diabetes. He is unwell this week. He has cough, pain in his chest, fever and feels sick. He is keeping an eye on his blood glucose and ketone levels. The levels are high. He is following sick day rules as advised. He is taking extra insulin doses. drinking more fluids and monitoring blood glucose and blood ketone levels every one to two hours but his blood glucose and ketones are not getting better his mum is worried and gets help Meet our Edian admissions team. They will be looking after Jacob today. After initial tests, Jacob is diagnosed with diabetic ketoacidosis and pneumonia. Jacob will be commenced on fluids, antibiotic and fixed rate intravenous insulin infusion, along with his regular background insulin injections. Mum tells that Jacob is not on injections but on insulin pump. After further discussions, the plan was to disconnect Jacob's pump. And start him on insulin infusion immediately. Jacob was very closely monitored and treated. It's day two today. Jacob is better, his DKA is fully resolved. He is eating and drinking better. He is keen to go back on pump. Tom stops insulin infusion. While, Tom is finding out when to restart pump. Angela is searching for Jacob's pump. Jacob is off insulin infusion waiting for pump. Hours later. He has high blood glucose and ketones, again. Jacob is back in DKA. He is back to ward again. So, what went wrong? Shall we learn about insulin pump today? So, tell me, what do you want to learn about pump? Okay then, let's start with Jacob. He was on insulin injections to begin with. But through the day, his glucose levels varied significantly. For instance, he had high levels before waking, high pose with activity, high levels after dinner, leading to poor diabetes control. Hence, he switched to insulin pump. Pump provides a continuous subcutaneous basal insulin infusion of quick-acting insulin, like Nova Rapid, with mealtime bolus of same insulin. Basal insulin rate typically varies through the day to suit the patient needs. For instance, patient can reduce basal rate before activity to minimize hypos, and can choose bolus, according to the meal choice. This gives a better blood glucose profile. Hence, insulin pump is used to improve glycemic control and reduce the risk of hypoglycemia. When you come across a patient on insulin pump in DKA, disconnect pump, start fixed rate insulin infusion immediately and treat DKA as per standard protocol. Once DKA is fully resolved, ask patient to restart insulin pump, but wait for 60 minutes before discontinuing the intravenous insulin infusion. Tom, did you start the insulin pump before stopping insulin infusion? And pump is very expensive. Keep it safe and document location. 